out of my bedroom, you creep. Ghost staring out a second floor window? <laughs> That's some great A prime horror footage right there. I hope he doesn't go through my knicker drawer. That's where I keep my peppermints. And my knickers. I can't believe you're a witch, Mrs. P. Former witch, dear. I only dabble now. So, who's that ghost? Barnabas Trench. That is a creepy name. Thanks. I just made it up. Did somebody say legend? Rich Ghoulish. I'm a huge fan. We've watched every episode of Ghosts and Ghoulish with Rich Ghoulish, which is you. We have our own paranormal investigation show called Night... So, oh. is this the house with the vengeful spectre and the portal to the other side? Yes, it's my house. <gasps> a spirit gawker, just like in the show. Choice. We've always wanted one of those. Here, have some. I've got a manufacturer who gets me a sweet deal on them. Six cents a piece. Hot tip. Using potentially hazardous plastic keeps the price down. Yes. <laughs> Actual apparition. This is wonderful. You chubby prickly boy, fill me. Rolling and action. We are here at this shabby cottage to investigate a potential gateway between worlds. A doorway to another dimension. It's believed that... Prepare for ethereal excitement on tonight's ghosts and ghoulish. Uh, night eyes. Right, aside from one mild annoyance, that went pretty well. He's so commanding. Yeah, I don't like him. Oh, beans! Why are you here? Nobody knows. Look at this. No holographic projection, no animatronic servos or wires. <laughs> Keep your fingers off me. Uh, you have seen a ghost before, right? Of course. Yes, absolutely. Thousands of times. But when you're a seasoned professional like me, you, you see a few fakes from time to time, and this, this is no fake. Oh, grasso. You better not be breaking my collection of porcelain pickles. Right. The spirit appears to have grown violent. We need someone to distract him while I investigate the paranormal portal. I'll do it. I let him out. I should be the one to distract him. Great. And take that annoying pink blob with you. Oh, I think you might be talking about me. <laughs> you lot do that, and I'll put the kettle on. Oh, it's beautiful. Do you know what this means? This is a huge step in our mission to understand the paranormal world. This is a gold mine. <laughs> a gold mine of information and... Merchandise deals and money. What if more of the bad ones come out? Shouldn't we try and close it? Turn that camera off. Cadence might have a point. You know who else has a point? Me. And I'm pointing it in your big round feathery face. Nobody is closing that door. All I care about is selling merch and being rich. Uh, shut it, prickles. Ah, now he's using his point on me. We just need to make sure he stays away from the rest of the crew. The moment he starts heading towards the laundry, we need to lead him outside. Huh? What are you doing? Uh, just whispering. Yeah, I'm pretty good. No, not upstairs. I said outside. No. Oh, suck it in, Beans. Oh. Come on, get out of there. Okay, oh, that tickles. Oh, oh, that doesn't tickle anymore. Oh, 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 oh. Spirit refreshment.
refrain from darkness and pain. Go back to the place from whence you came. <sighs> it worked. I don't know you were a witch, too. I'm not. I'm just a good skim reader. <gasps> Careful. I keep spilling tea on the floor. Thanks for the heads up, Mrs P. Guys! Oh, it's you. I thought it would be the cups of tea. That old pigeon is taking forever to make them. Uh, she's actually a rodo. So it turns out Barnabas was super dangerous, just like Teddy Nine Eyes, the blurred witch, that crypt camper thing. We need to shut that portal for good. Ah, not you too. There's a spell in this book that will close that door. You finally get success, and now you want to end it? Really? I love ghost hunting but I love protecting the ones I love more. So, yeah, let's close it. No, let's burn that book. Yeah. <laughs> oh, careful. Oh, I really should have put a tea towel over that spill. Guess we'll have a new show now. Yeah, exposing fake ghost hunters. I think I've got just the spell to deal with you. Uh. All right, here goes. Friends and foes, whichever way goes, from inside to outside, this portal shall close. Have you checked for fine print? Spells don't have fine. Oh, yeah. There's fine print. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> what is it, Ty? Just sound it out. It says to close the portal. The spell must be read aloud. From the other side. But that means... Someone would have to go through the portal. And not come back. I'll do it. Scuff, no. It's OK. It's it's for the greater good. And plus, imagine the killer footage I'll get in there. That's super brave, bro. Oh. But it's got to be me. Ty, no! I can't believe you did that. That's room looks sad. It's Ty. He's gone. Oh. I like that girl. I like all of you girls. Thanks, Beans. You've been an awesome part of the team today. Part of the team? Oh. I'm coming for you, Tyler. All right, spell time. Huh? Beans? What? what are you doing? I'm about to close the portal. Nah, I'm about to close it. <laughs> oh. Ah oh, man, I lost the camera. Ah, uh, guys? I already got rid of you. <laughs> he did it. He actually did it. Way to go, Beans. On this season of Night Eyes, we've explored everything from possessed plushies... ..to paranormal portals. And while things may be uncertain for the future of our paranormal investigations, there's one thing that we know for sure. Rich Ghoulish is a grubby grifter. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. And we'll see you next time on Night Eyes.